we had our appreciation event for our therapy animals. Um, it's a national day that we celebrate every year. They interact with our patients on rehab and throughout the hospital, and we like them to come and show them appreciation for their program and what they do. And how many therapy animals do y'all have, have at Good Shepherd? We currently have four. We are in the process of working on more um, to come with us, and we are always looking for more handlers to help with our program and help our patients. What does a therapy animal mean, mean to patients when they're going through stuff here in the hospital? Therapy animals have huge benefits to our patients. That human-animal interaction really helps the patients. It stabilizes their mood. It can even produce an autonomic relaxation response, which stabilizes blood pressure and reduces the need for pain medication. It helps with socialization, communication, and it really just helps in their recovery process and motivation. I'm sure your time here being around the animals and the dogs, you've seen times when you, uh, you go in the patient's room, they'll be down, but then a, a, a dog walks in, first thing they raise up, hey, doggy, hey. Absolutely, and yes. Experience. That experience with that, like I said, human animal interaction is just invaluable. There are many times that patients are not even nonverbal, and when the animal comes in, they'll actually try to make sounds and they'll try to move, which is not anything that our therapists or our nurses are able to stimulate, but that dog has that true interaction with the patient and produces that response. Um, let's see, the next question. Um, okay. the, and, you, and your dedicated handlers who are here with the dogs all the time, and, 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 and uh, so you just make a phone call, hey, you mind coming down? Right. About your handlers? Yes. So they're scheduled to come on certain days, but if we have a special case, even throughout the hospital, different patients, I'll call them up and ask them to come visit that patient, and they are always willing to come in. They are volunteers. They do not get paid for their time at all. So we appreciate them so much and the interaction they have with both our patients and our associates throughout the hospital. How did y'all come up with the uh, idea of the, uh, of the therapy uh, animal and when did it start? Actually started in 2018. Um, the therapy director uh, came to us as a therapy team and rehab team and said, you know, I've seen this in studies, evidence-based practice where this could be beneficial. And uh, at the time they knew a couple of people. So we made some phone calls, worked with PetSmart and started the program and really researched and make sure that we were had a solid program that we could provide this excellent care for our patients my final question, the feedback sure. you get from not only patients, but the patient's family when they with, with the interaction with the therapy animal. Absolutely. It makes us very unique um, type of program that we have here for rehab because now every place has that type of program and the interaction and the feedback that we receive is always positive and it makes such a difference. A lot of these people have animals at home and they're not able to see them while they're hospitalized and so really it fills in that gap for that and it provides that motivation for that patient to be able to go home and see their animal.